Hey everybody, Ryan here on MNR Collects, and today I think I have something pretty special. It's my first ever time unboxing a Star Wars Black Series action figure. I would have told you a year ago that I hate action figures and that I think they're stupid, and I still think I might feel that way, but I needed something to collect that's Star Wars that isn't Lego. As you can see, I got a lot of Lego behind me, and so Black Series was kind of the obvious choice to me with all of the diverse stuff that they do from original trilogy, prequel trilogy, sequel trilogy, and everything in between, basically. It seems like a pretty amazing thing to go in and buy things of, I suppose. So today I'm going to find out if I actually hate what's in the box, but that's not going to stop me from collecting the things because they're fun to collect nonetheless, and I love the packaging and all that. But the first one that I did buy was this little baby Yoda one, and I bought this maybe a few months ago, and you know, it was the only one I had for a while, and I let that sit around, and I was like, one day, it was it was a crack in the dam, and then the dam got another crack when I bought the Clone Trooper Holiday Edition. I bought this one from GameStop uh, in particular, and you'll notice the packaging is pretty scuffed up there. There's a little bend on that side. We'll get to what happened here in a minute. Definitely a big bend on this side, and on the back, it's like dented in. The box for this thing got uh, roughed up in shipping, and I was pretty disappointed with that. And I heard that GameStop will actually replace these boxes if you get a damaged one, so if you can comment down below and let me know if that's true or not, I would love that. But yeah, I got this one, I was like, this is cool, and I'm gonna actually have to go on like eBay or Mercari and buy the rest of these holiday ones, because they're really unique and fun, I think. But I'm actually gonna be opening this today, because I've never opened a Black Series action figure, like I said, and had one in hand. Like I been collecting them for a couple months now. The dam is broken. It's flooding to the point where I'm about to spend like $200 on a San Diego Comic Con Grand Admiral Thrawn. Like, it's done. Like, I'm into these, right? And I should say, I don't plan to open a lot of the Black Series that I collect. Most of it, I'm just collecting to have and like put on a shelf at some point. But yeah, I'll also be doing other videos with like some sideshow collectibles and whatever the heck that is. A Hot Toys or something, DX, I don't know like what these all are, I'm learning. So you probably wanna know why I'm opening this one instead of any of the other Black Series figures I have, and that's because I destroyed this box essentially. So obviously, like I said, when it came from GameStop, the box was already kind of being ripped apart and bent up, really bad shape uh, for what you would want out of a collector box, right? Um, but then I accidentally tried to catch a Lego set with the box, and of course the plastic being plastic on the front, plastic uh, breaks, and you can see that it just like snapped and uh, or it like has a little cut in it on, on four different ways because it got pierced. So very, very unfortunate, but that is the reason that this is the one I have chosen as the guinea pig to unbox and I'll buy another sealed one for my collection. If you don't have an oversized Patriot's knife, did you actually open the box? I don't know. Like I said, this is my first experience opening a Black Series box. The packaging, of course, is one of the main reasons I kind of got into it. So it looks like it's just all in this plastic thing. It actually looks like there's a uh, little paper down here at the bottom. What could that say? It could be very important. Probably not. Probably just telling me if I eat it, I will die, which makes sense. You don't eat clone troopers. So he's in this little plastic thing here. He's got his little weapon, which is like a hockey stick type of staff. And then you actually have a little porg. I know there's like a little porg black series like a year ago. I actually didn't get that, but let's take a look at the porg here first, maybe. So that is the black series holiday porg from the, uh, the clone trooper here. Pretty nice little thing. Um, I don't really get any satisfaction, more satisfaction having it out of the packaging now, gonna be honest with that. As far as the staff, candy cane style staff for the clone trooper here, very nice looking. It obviously fits the holiday theming very well. And they kind of souped it up with some wiring or technology looking things there to make it look more Star Wars-y. And then of course the big deal, the clone trooper, the big guy in the, the, the set, if you will, or the packaging that you're really buying the set or, um, also what I'm noticing is if I were to decide to open another character and want to put him back, it might not look so good. I'm not sure. Um, going back into the packaging, like I might actually break this and it's going to look bad in the, uh, the box there, but here he is. First impressions of ever holding a black series figure. It's, it's a little bit more, um, rubbery than I thought, if that makes sense. Like the, there's a little bit more like give and take to it than, than I was expecting. I didn't know the body was going to move like this. That's a nice bit of posability. So I, I heard the joints were a big thing with like action figures and stuff. Can you actually move these arms or do they, okay, can, they kind of snap. So they're not like on a smooth, I thought they would be more smooth. So they only have one bit of posability there, huh? So looks like the hands can move a little bit maybe up and down perhaps, not really sure. Okay, okay, they can move around. And then this is the hand I'm assuming because it's open, you can hold the staff in, so you can get that in there and he'll be good to go with his little staff. I guess he can hold it in the other hand too there, but yeah, unfortunately he has to hold it pretty low and it feels loose in the hand. I don't know if I like that. Like it feels like it's just gonna fall out if I 
flipped upside down, which of course it does. Now the detailing and the paint job on this guy seems pretty superb. Like I think the the look of these characters, especially helmeted ones, is really really good. Um, and I think they did a really nice job with the colors here. He even has like striped socks. <laughs> His feet are pointed in. That's a little bit weird. Let's see. Can we point them out a little bit? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so decent posability on the feet. Like I said, a little bit more rubbery than I thought I would be getting out of this. Looks like nice knee joints. Can I bend the knees? Can he bend the knee? Yes, he can. But again, it's only one like range of mo maybe two on this particular uh, joint, but it's not a lot of range of motion like I kind of felt like I was expecting. It seems to me like the shoulders were more of what I was expecting. With the shoulders, you can go 360 degrees, real nice range of motion there. I just feel like the elbows don't move enough and the, the legs don't move enough. I guess the legs at the bottom here should be able to move or spin or do something. Yeah, you can spin them out and do a little bit more with them. Okay, so maybe it's not as bad. Okay, the, the whole torso twist. Yeah, you can get him to do some fun things, I suppose, uh, with that. I wish the arms went out like he could stretch his arms out like I just did there, but yeah, I don't know. Like opening my first black series, not too bad of an experience, I will say. I actually quite like this. Um, I don't plan to open a lot of them, like I said. Does the helmet come off or anything? Probably not. Apparently some of them will have magnetic helmets on the more expensive stuff, but obviously this isn't a, a magnetic character. I love that pattern on the torso there with the Death Star and the TIE Fighters and stuff. Although it doesn't make a ton of sense for a clone trooper to have that kind of stuff. I wish it was more Republic themed because it's a Republic trooper, right? It's a clone trooper. So yeah, kind of wish that was a little bit different there. But other than that, still really excellent looking uh, character overall and a really fun one to have for your Black Series collection. I guess if you're trying to get some holiday themed stuff for next year, this is not a bad one to buy. I don't know how much they're going for on like eBay or anything, but I wouldn't say it's not worth taking a look and seeing if it's uh, worth the price for you yourself. I, this isn't really a review. I just wanted to open and see what it was like to, to have a Black Series clone trooper holiday edition like in the flesh. And I'm pretty pleased with this. Now while my Black Series collection will mainly remain in box, I will actually unbox um, the, the more expensive collectible pieces that I get, like the Sideshow or the Hot Toys types of things. I actually have a Dark Trooper on pre-order uh, from Hot Toys or something. I don't remember. Maybe it was Sideshow, the $250 six scale figure. So that'll be coming in like a year. So <laughs> make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for that, I suppose. But yeah, first ever Black Series character. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you've been thinking about buying a Black Series, I think you should go for it. It's, it's kind of a fun thing to collect. If you're not into it, you're not into it, I suppose. But then why did you watch this video for so long? So.